Hello everyone, welcome back to the course. In this video, we are going to talk about set timeout versus set interval in the JavaScript. Set timeout is basically going to execute a particular code block after an specific time that we have specified in the set timeout method. When we talk about set timeout methods, there are key things, there are few parameters that a method contains. The very first parameter is the function. We can also say that is a callback function where we can use the complete function declaration or we can use the function reference as well. The second parameter is the number of seconds, number of milliseconds basically, not seconds. How many, like what are the number of milliseconds after that we wanted to execute the code block. If we specify zero over here, if you see here as a second parameter, then that value is going to the function is going to run as soon as possible and then we can also pass zero or more parameters into the set timeout so basically there are three key things one is the function the second is the uh, number of milliseconds and then fourth sorry third one is the number of parameters that we wanted to pass this is a very simple structure of our method where we have got a set timeout. This is a function you can see over here. And we are using arrow function we have already talked about. And we are just having a alert hello Mr. Universe. And then we are saying that it is going to alert, it is going to show the alert after 2000 milliseconds. Okay. So let's quickly see how we can work with this set timeout. And then we'll talk about this set interval as well. So as we have talked about this is the code that we are talking about we've got set timeout okay you can have a function or arrow function whichever is best for you and i'm going to increase the size to 5000 milliseconds so that we can also have we can basically uh, observe the delay over there so hit enter nothing happens it is going to make uh, wait for uh, i think five seconds now you can see here we've got hello mr universe and you got it okay now it is also telling us that it took this much milliseconds for our set timeout method. So now if you print the my greetings, you can see this is the counter number. So this is the number two of your my greetings. If you again go ahead and say, okay, we have got again, and you try to put my greetings, you will see number three. Okay. So this is how your, and this only executes once. This doesn't execute multiple times, right? You have got only one, say that 5,000 seconds. It is going to show you the alert only once. Now in the PPT, we <coughs> sorry. Now in the PPT, we have also seen there is something we said that either we can pass the complete function expression or we can also have the reference. So this time, what we have is we have got this. Let's quickly make it to the original value 2000 and we'll create a function. We'll say that uh, hello and uh, I hope this doesn't basically. Uh, throw any error because we have already used this function so we'll say that hello alert and here we are going to say that okay uh, whatever this alert is there we'll just have that over here okay now what we'll have is we need to remove this function expression because we don't need and we are going to pass this hello alert over here and let's quickly go ahead and hit enter now we got this hello mr universe so this is the another way of passing a function to the set timeout method. There is one more thing that we have also talked about. We can also pass the number of parameters. So they say that okay here we'll say that a greeting is something that we have got. We wanted to greet. We'll say that greetings. Okay. Now how we are going to get the value for this greetings? We are going to pass the value over here in the form of a string. Okay. If you have multiple values. You can have multiple. You can say greeting, you can say greeting one, you can say greeting two. Okay. Hit enter. And this time you will also see the same thing, YouTube, which is hello, Mr. Universe. So this is basically that you have got. Now, if you see my greetings counter is getting increased every time. So as a best practice, what you need to do is you always have to clear the timeout. So how you will do this is you say clear timeout okay because that is for it and then you need to give it greetings and then use your so it is going to first clear and then it is going to assign the number or the counter will always going to be okay it is 
we are clearing and then we are doing all those things okay so this is about our set timeout now let's talk about what the set interval is so we've talked about set timeout right that runs after a particular time span has been completed but set interval is something which runs after the particular like every time a particular time is reached that means over a period that is what it says that interval it is going to run into the different different intervals like right say that we have provided 1000 milliseconds as a second parameter then this particular method which is display time is going to run multiple times every thousand uh, every after thousand milliseconds okay so set timeout only once set interval multiple times based on what time is time that you have provided until unless you clear that time is time okay so and every other thing is simple same as your set timeout the name name of your method is different otherwise other parameters the three parameters are same now if you go to now if you go to your browser window use the same code that we have got over here in the pbt as uh, for part of uh, we'll say that uh, demo here so what we have is basically there is a function called display time which is just displaying the time and then we have got a uh, basically say that create clock which is kind of we say that a stopwatch which says that set interval display time is and it is having thousand milliseconds hit enter and every thousand milliseconds you will see it is saying that okay 10 26 starting from 22 and every after one second it is just printing whatever the time is basically a ticking clock we can say as a time is time we can also say or we can also say that a uh, stopwatch kind of thing that you have and this is going to keep increasing keep, keep increasing because we haven't put any sort of condition over there for clearing the timeout that is why basically it is working uh, it is going to execute uh, multiple times so i'm just going to refresh the page so that we can uh, remove that clear interval sorry we can use that time interval okay so that is basically about that interval we might want it to use sometimes when we have to make an apex uh, apex call after every five seconds or every 10 seconds to get the reference data you can use this set interval but as a best practice it is not recommended there are other ways in salesforce that you can use similarly like your uh, we say that uh, clear timeout you have got clear interval and you can use whatever your clock is like create clock and hit enter and you see here it is only going to display now once because we have cleared the time interval and it is not going to work anymore after that so once if you have some sort of stopwatch right you can have a counter uh, so let's quickly modify this code what we have is uh, we will have a one variable we'll say that counter is zero okay and then we'll say that after 10 seconds we wanted to remove so here what we'll say that count plus plus okay sorry counter plus plus so basically we are increasing one and we are not going to remove this so we are going to have i will check over here um yeah let's see over here say so if counter is greater than 10 that means it has reached its limit clear the timeout let's see what happens so now if you see here right it is not stopping the reason is we have used this line over here and then this line is after that so what we have to do is again we have to just go ahead refresh the page in order to prevent the timer use this and this line is going to be there basically before this now what we have is if we go here and enter this this time what will happen it is going to execute 10 times our timer is going to execute 10 times that means 10 seconds and after that it will just go ahead and say stop you can see here it just stopped i think it is uh, i think it it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 i think it is basically 12 times so we can have that that sort of uh, things we can put over here because it is starting from zero it should be starting from one and it should be uh, greater than or equal to 10 then it, it is just going to go ahead and uh, prevent that that kind of thing we can also have over there so basically this is how your set interval works 
and this is it for this video thank you for your time and into the coming video we will talk about what are the promises and before that basically we'll talk about what are the classes in javascript and then we will talk about what are the promises thank you everyone thank you for your time